What's happening, guys? I'm Eric Stylo. He's Ken. We are Stylo Ken. You're watching Capes and Masks. And today, we want to talk a little bit about the Joker trailer that was just released. So wouldn't this more be grease paint and giggles? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to be the first to say I was wrong. Um, when this was being talked about originally and, uh, and everything leading up to it, I have been against it. I've um, The Joker is an interesting comic book character. He's one of my favorites but like i wouldn't put him top 10 but i've always found him extremely interesting and one of the best things about him is there is no definite origin story there's a few stories that people look to as what they are but um he said it best himself is when he if he needs to have an origin story he prefers it to be multiple choice so this is just going to be one of those multiple choices it's looking like and guys stylistically it has my attention so uh let's get into this yeah i I definitely like the look of it i like the feel of it and and i'm with you i I felt like uh like i needed to see the footage and now i feel differently about it the idea of a joker film was not something that i felt like i needed yeah no like it's not a story i was looking for but um it's they're making me care about it. Right. I mean, it's got that kind of greedy vibe that they had talked about, but it, also this kind of unsettling vibe. Yeah, like a they, there's, a euf- there's a euphoria in his yeah. madness, and I think that's kind of an interesting way to talk about how the Joker is. And um, going off some of the random acts of violence, we see him um, spinning the sign as a clown there. It looks like he's working as one of those sign spinners for some random business, and someone steals the sign, he's running away and gets smacked in the face with it, writhing on the ground. This could be playing on a little bit of the killing joke, where um, all it takes it to break someone is one particularly bad day. So while I don't know the span of this movie, like how many days it's going to take place over, or what the period of time is... Um, it looks like it's just going to be a downward spiral for um, this character. Uh, I think they said his name was Fleck, Arthur Fleck, or something like that, right? I think, yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, so um, who will eventually become the Joker. And we see a lot of stuff happening in this. We know he lives with his mother. She seems older and sickly, but he's clearly very devoted. Um, I, I'm going to pitch an early thought that something's going to happen to her. Um, we saw Thomas Wayne on the television very much like that. That seemed accurate from what they were describing and talking about this, that he was going to be almost like a Donald Trump type who's loud and audacious, like just randomly right. condemning things he doesn't really know much about. And um, one other shot that caught me is interesting is when he's walking along and you see him do the little smile on the kid um, behind the gated fence. Now that, again, we didn't get a lot here, so this is purely speculation. That looks like... It might be Bruce Wayne to me. It looks like he was walking outside of Wayne Manor. You know, that didn't occur to me until you pointed that out when we watched the trailer again. But now I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to try to build that link early on for him. Because another thing they never really establish about the Joker is how old he is and how much older than Batman he actually is. Like... There's been continuities in the comics where he's actually immortal. He's been using Ra- Ra's al Ghul's um, Lazarus Pits. So um, this could be a nice little nod to that, that Joker's an evil older than Batman is used to. So uh, they've built a really interesting trailer here that has me interested in a movie I was originally going to write off completely. Yeah, No, I'm definitely interested in it. Um, like I had said before, I like the look and feel of it, the tone, the yep. color, you know, the colorization. Um I told you I was a little concerned when I first saw it. The first shot we saw is oh, that yeah. zoom in kind of yep. on the skyline, and, yep. and I had this worry that they were Nolan esque. You were saying, yeah, it was like a Nolan slash Wally Fister style like cinematography. They might be trying to go too close to like ledgers. And I was worried because I, I I love the Nolan films. I know you don't as much as I do, but I don't uh, hate them. But I was worried that they, they had were a great gonna, scarecrow. Right, I was worried that that's what they were going to try to pull from a lot yeah. because of that shot. But the rest of the trailer couldn't have been farther from that. Yeah, which was good. Like, the Nolan verse, uh, yeah, it's not my favorite. I wasn't even as big on, and this is probably sacri- sacrilege for most fans, but forgive me, I wasn't as big on Ledger's Joker. Like, um, I just, it just didn't feel like the character to me. But I, I'm not saying he wasn't great. I loved Two-Face, and I yeah. loved, loved, loved Scarecrow. Hey, if he wasn't your Joker, he wasn't your Joker. That's just how Mark it is. Mark Hamill is my Joker, so it's, like, impossible to Well, uh, there's nothing that. wrong with Mark Hamill being your Joker. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, so how are you feeling about the look of the Joker in this now. Like, when we originally saw it, we were picking that apart, and, like, we weren't really fair. But now that I've seen it in 
action. I was gonna say the same thing. The movements, the the mannerisms. I was kinda... saying I really like that scene at the end, um, where he's basically like stomping down the stairs with both yeah, feet. Yeah, I feel like the mannerisms complement the look more. They do, and make the look work better. I I especially and I'm surprised at this little detail. I like the hair. Um, I think the hairs are re- they're doing it in an interesting way that scene that you get a little bit of a scene where you can tell he's dying at green and the green chemicals are dripping down his face and I don't know if that's a nod to maybe ace chemicals being a part of this down the line we talked about that right um, they don't give us a lot that's definite here but what they do give us is enough to make me say I was wrong and I am officially in hype mode about this movie same here I'm good with it I uh I will be seeing... I mean, I was always going to see it. Uh, yeah, but, but my, this has gone from I'll catch this as a rental to I might actually show up in a theater for this. This, this is going to be a good time. I don't know if I'm going to see it in IMAX, but I'm definitely going to check it out. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Joaquin Phoenix does with the role. Now that yeah, I've seen no, a he's bit. a really intriguing actor. Um, he really commits to whatever he's doing. So whatever this Joker is going to be. Even the physical, like when I was telling you before, when they show him without yeah. the shirt on and his body's all kind of twisted and contorted. And he goes into are... it 100%. Uh, like, he raises his voice, too, for, like, the talking parts of the trailer. Yeah. He almost sounds like one of those little good old mama's boys from the Deep South or something like that. What my mama said. That a smile with life or something like that and yeah. it's like and, and back when the Dark Knight happened there was all these rumors about Heath Ledger committing to the role so much that it started to kind of drive him of course kind of yeah. and he kind of like he was he was a method actor as well and you know he lost sleep and they you know some people linked it to what happened to him and I don't know about that right but it's looking to me like Joaquin Phoenix has committed to this role absolutely and um it's it's created something that I'm very interested in seeing um I mean, we can only talk about what's been presented to us, and what's been presented has definitely piqued our interest. We're going to cover this more as it comes out, I think, because now it's definitely one of my movies to watch. Um, DC might be turning around a little bit. Yeah, they're definitely putting forth a strong effort in that direction. Aquaman was good, and Joker's going to be interesting. Yep, they got James Gunn reworking Suicide Squad. Yeah. With Idris Elba. Is that, that's another video. That's another video. Yeah, that Joker's is. looking good, guys. All right. Guys, that's all we have for today. Um, let us know what you think of the trailer. Do you agree with our take on it? Do you have a different take? Let us know in the comments. Was there something you liked that we didn't discuss? Bring it up. Absolutely. All right. But anyway, I'm Ken. Sorry, Stylo. This is Stylo Ken. Thanks for watching.